goes in for the takedown. Very nicely executed, and Leandro's on top. Let's see what Alexi's like off of his back. He's got to start moving immediately. Leandro's got such heavy pressure when he gets on top of you like this. Alexi's got him in a kind of a closed half guard, but he's just got him pressed flat up against his okay, back. Work, he's got to try work. to get onto his position. side and create some kind of movement. This is not a good position to be in. With a man the size of Leandro Atatis on top of you. Alexi has stabilized okay, Leandro's left leg, although he's released it partially there. He'll come back and lock it up again, which will limit what Leandro can do, I guess, Mitch. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's kind of a, a, a closed kind of guard, but a lockdown sort of maneuver where he kind of locks his leg into position. But, you know, Leandro is, uh, okay, I don't think he's too right, worried right. about that. Got his forearm on Alexi's throat, using the entire weight of his body to push down and and cause discomfort at the very least. See, Leandro's actually slowly trying to inch that leg out so he can pass the half guard of Alexi and possibly get into more side control or a mountain position. Yeah, the whole context of this position will change if he can release that, leg, that left leg, which is just being locked up at the moment. There you go, you can see Leandro trying to control the arm now, create a little bit of a ground and pound. He might be going after a possible submission. There might be a Kimura there. Possibly, if, or an arm lock. In the cage, you'll have seen a lot at Evolve, but in the cage, we actually haven't seen much of Athaides on the deck. Yeah, his, his fights don't last very long. He's in and out of there really quickly. And this is like one of the first time we actually see he's choosing. See, there's an Americana. He's got him in an arm lock. Kind of a, it puts a lot of pressure onto the shoulder. Oh, that is forcing it down. I'm sure you can understand at home how painful that's that uncomfortable. You can see the torque he's putting onto his shoulder. He's almost got his elbow touching the opposite way. The shoulder is not supposed to bend that way. Strong fellow, though, the Russian. Working it back to a more comfortable position. That's an interesting defense that Alexi has, but he's actually utilized it successfully. He was trying to grab the hand to prevent the hand from going the other way. He inhales, doesn't he? Because he knew he wasn't far off from the fight being finished there. Gives himself another chance. Meanwhile, Atadi's left leg still. He's going back down. after it. You can see the torque he's putting on that arm. <laughs> so painful, doesn't it? But the Another mobility of surely won't be able to stand it anymore. On Alexi's shoulders is incredible. He has amazing dexterity through that shoulder. Look awesome. at him just twerking on it. Oh, it's away. going the wrong way. Please tap, <laughs> for goodness sake. What tremendous bravery. He's got the hand on the ground. That's the correct technique for delivering this. And he's just slides his paint brushing the hand down and cranking on that elbow. Leandro must be thinking, what on earth do I need to do to finish this guy? But the amazing Short thing is, ripping his arm off. is there's absolutely no recognition of pain whatsoever on Alexi's face. What a character this guy is. Unbeaten, 9-0. That is a tough... To see why. And around us here at Cageside, people are breaking into applause. At the sheer determination and tolerance to pain that Alexi has. What a warrior. Atitis has not given up on that Americana. <laughs> Is this, take, is this sapping Leandro of a lot of energy, or is this a relatively comfortable move to force through? No, the Brazilian has spent many years practicing each one of these submissions thousands of times. It's completely ingrained. 